In this video, I want to highlight how you use email with the Shortel Contact Center client. And in particular, I want to show you a way that you can pick and choose what emails you want to answer out of the queue. So just to start, as you can see, I've got my Connect client up. And because I'm part of some work groups that are the foundation and backup for our contact center queues, there's a couple of shared voicemails here. I'm going to go ahead and get logged into the system. And you can see there's a bunch of emails that have come in. So I'm going to go ahead and answer this one. I'll show you how this happens. So I can hit answer here. Or in the queue, since it's the top one, I can hit answer right here as well. So, and just to highlight, because this is an email, there's nothing here on my Connect desktop client. So as you can see, it's ringing. I'm going to go ahead and answer it. And now this pops up and my window changes, my panes change here in the contact center client. So I'm going to be able to see information about this particular email. I can see the email address that this came uh, from. I can see where it arrived, I can see the email address that was used to send this email to us. So I can see that this is obviously part of the service queue. And then I can see the subject line. As you can see, this is um, obviously spam. Um, very quickly, this populated into my Outlook. And here it is, in case I need to be concerned about whether I get injured during a softball game. So as you can see, it's a very quick, very responsive um, system. And if I were to go ahead and delete this out of Outlook, it would immediately hang up on this email. But I'm going to go ahead and hang up on the email here. So in order to be able to pick and choose which of the emails you want out of these eight that are still queued up, if you come here and you hang up on this one, and we're going to go ahead and make our code that says that this is not service. And then I'm going to let the wrap up do its thing. And I'm going to say, in here that I'm going to be approved busy on this and let the, the wrap up finish. And now I'm in approved busy, as you can see right up here. So it's got a counter showing how long I'm going to be in this particular agent state. So I'm going to pull up my queue list. And as I said, you can see all these different ones. So I'm actually going to look at this one. So this is the first alert that has come in about one of our um, systems. So I'm going to pick up this email and here I have it. It's now ringing for me and I'm going to go ahead and click. And then very quickly over here I've got an alert to tell me that this particular circuit is having some serious loss issues. So I can go ahead and get a technician assigned to that right away. So since this is not actually something where I'm going to respond, I'm going to go ahead and tag this as uh, opening a service order because that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm still listed as approved busy, so I'm going to let this wrap up go. Okay, so as you can see, the wrap up is almost done. And then it's going to send me right back into my release state. And here I am back in approved busy, and it's now counting back. Uh, up again on my counter. So if I come back to my queue list, again, I can pick and choose which of these I want to look at. Like this is the most recent alert that has come in uh, on the Big Leaf circuit. So I'm going to go ahead and ask for this email next because I want to see, and in a moment it'll actually populate into my email. Excellent. This is great. So I can see actually that although this alarm went on for quite a while, everything has been resolved. As of 5 o'clock this morning, 5.15 this morning, the circuit is completely fine. Everything is up as it's supposed to be. So that's great news. So I can go ahead and minimize this and minimize my email. And now I know that I'm done here. So again, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to code this as follow-up. Uh, and then I'll let the um, and I'll let the wrap up code finish its countdown. So something to make sure that I highlight here: if you are a supervisor, 
if you've got a short tail contact center supervisor license, you're going to see the list of agents and you would be able to, you know, see who's logged into what. At this point, there's nobody but me logged in because it's only 7.30 in the morning. So, um, but normally you would see a list of all agents. You'd see if there was a help queue, you would see it here. And you can also, of course, see your, um, all the queue list. And then if you click here on the tile, you actually see, oh, we're just finishing our, there we are, we finished our wrap-up code. And we're in a blank slate because of the fact that we are in approved busy. We can start taking requests and we're going to start getting those emails right away, just bam, bam, bam. So that's a really easy, quick way to, as a, an agent or as a supervisor, to go ahead and come into your queue and begin to manipulate it and answer what you would like to answer.